us relight four candles representing the four weeks of Advent. As we awaited the blessed hope of our Jesus, our Savior Jesus Christ, these candles symbolize gifts of Jesus Christ to us. Hope. Tonight, we light the Christ candle, symbolizing the light of the world made real in the Son of God come to earth at Christmas. In Christ, the grace of God has appeared, bringing the good news of salvation for all. nativity story as related by Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration while Cyrenius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph's office also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger for there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their sheep by night. And then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be fri afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among all whom he favors.
Please remain standing for the reading of the gospel. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, and it had been told to them. You may be seated. Merry Christmas. My name is David Dunlap. I am the director of music here at the United Church of Christ, Fort Lauderdale. And we are wearing a number of different hats tonight. I would like to thank Reverend Joel for stepping in and, and doing yeoman's duty on some of the parts of our service tonight. I am also helping out with delivering a written message from Reverend Patrick, who has tested positive this week for COVID-19, and so he is home watching us on the internet. <laughs> I am here to share his words with you tonight. This is, this is what he wrote and sent to me to deliver to you. I miss being here in person with you tonight, but being in quarantine, I'll be watching the service with you from our website live stream service. Being a pastor, in telling the Christmas story year after year, I attempt to look at the Christmas story a different way and from a different angle. I do this in order to deliver a meaningful reflection for each year's Christmas Eve service. I always ask the Holy Spirit to guide me in this process. I have preached this text and the birth of the baby Jesus story from the viewpoints of Mary, of Joseph, the kings who traveled from afar, from the viewpoint of the innkeeper. One year, I even wondered if there really was room in the inn after all, a guest room, but because Joseph and Mary were foreigners from another land and of a different race, a different culture, or a different religious belief, is that the reason there was no room for them? But tonight, let's look at this story from a different view. From the Gospel of Matthew, we know, quote, they had seen the star at its rising and it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. Now, that star 
is the star of our story tonight. That star that shined so brightly, the kings were overwhelmed with joy. Picture in your mind what that must have been like at night, in darkness, a light so bright, so out of the ordinary that it caused these travelers to be overwhelmed with joy. Well, that same star shines through the heavens and over each of us today. In our humanity, we often continue to search for that star, only to later learn that the star was shining over us the entire time. May we embrace that light and the peace and that overwhelming joy that it brings. The kind of peace Jesus left us as a gift. As written in John 14, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Don't let your hearts be troubled and don't let them be afraid. Jesus' gift to us tonight is peace. That peace that comes through the light of Christ. Tonight, as we celebrate the anniversary of birth of the Christ child, the baby Jesus, let's be grateful that God's light, which touched the baby Jesus, also touches each one of us. Tonight and always. Merry Christmas. you all please pray with me. Heavenly Creator, this is a joyous night where we celebrate the birth of Christ who said, you are the light of the world. But not everybody is joyous tonight. There are those with COVID. There are those who are homeless, without jobs, not knowing what the next moment will bring. Let that joy of Christ be within us to reach out to those people in need, whether they be friends, family, and friends we have yet to meet. Let us also keep in mind those who are not with us this evening, who may be in the hospital, traveling, or ill, let us either say silently or speak those names aloud. Now let us sing those words that have been taught to us, said all around the world in many languages, but from one heart.
Christmas. It's so wonderful to see each and every one of you here this evening to join us, and our prayers definitely do go out to Reverend Patrick. Absolutely. This evening, just for a moment, I wanted to talk about stewardship. What a blessing it is that I get to talk about giving. We have been given the best gift of all, haven't we? We have been given Jesus. He who gives us each and every day peace, love, comfort, joy, wisdom. We are so blessed. So we need to remember not only tonight and tomorrow, but each day that Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving, doesn't he? Tonight as you leave, we ask that you give what it is that you can to our Lord, our church, our community, our family that sits with us here each Sunday. The offering plates are in the back this evening because we are trying to be careful with COVID, so please don't forget. God bless all of you, and thank you for all that you do for this church. This is for Patrick. Noel, 
I have to say is, Ray, when I get to be in my 90s, I hope I have half the voice that you do. God bless you. Now, how our candlelighting portion is going to go, our ushers in their fabulous Christmas jackets are going to release the rows one at a time. We ask that you stay safely distanced. When you come up to light your candle, you should have a candle and a card which your candle will fit into to catch drips. And then we will proceed from there. as the light of the world shines. Let us all shine.
now, may the hope of Christmas fill your heart. May the joy of Christmas surround you. May the peace of Christmas shower over you. May the love of Christmas be shared. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Merry Christmas.